I don't know about you guys, but I have not been able to sleep ever since we watched season three, episode two of The Reality House. Yeah! Sorry. If you guys don't know what The Reality House is at this point, you're a lost cause, okay? I don't know what to tell you. We already covered episode one and two. Go catch up. If not, you want to jump in? Okay. Suit yourself. I'm sure there will be a recap. It's best to watch this show with me. Let me be your spiritual guide, okay? Take my hand. Forehead kisses all around. Let's watch episode three. Yeah! Season three. But you guys are not going head to head against each other. Or against any other team in front of you. You guys will be a team going against some people no. that we think deserve a second chance. Oh, no. You're good to no. bring them in? I no way! Just kidding. This is where we left off, right? They're going to introduce two new characters. I can't wait to find out who they are. We're back, back, bitches! I mean, uh, oh, it's Fousey Tube. <laughs> Something tells me that placing a 31-year-old off the deep end washed up YouTuber man-child in a reality dating show with a bunch of young 20-year-olds is not a good idea. But you know what? Maybe he'll uh, shock us all. What's up, y'all? It's your boy Fousey. I heard every girl is single this season, and that's why I'm here. <laughs> This man's 31! Listen, if you're going to get a tattooed hairline, please don't be cringy. Please don't say things like, ah, I heard all the ladies are single this season. You're a full grown man. These are children. I'm not a fan of these age gap relationships or this weird predatory bullshit coming out of Fousey Tube's mouth. It really rubs me the wrong way. I don't care if it's scripted. I don't care if it's cringy. It's whack. Maybe I'm jumping the gun. Let's give Fousey Tube the benefit of the doubt. I'm sure it'll be great. <laughs> What's up? It's Taylor. I'm back with Simba and I still don't have a YouTube channel. <laughs> I got kicked off first last season. Say your goodbyes. <laughs> this is some bullshit. Man. I'm gonna be back though. Season three, I'm coming right. back. I swear to God, if you kick me off, I'm breaking a camera. I'm socking somebody in the face. <laughs> I can't believe Fousey Tube is in this show. <laughs> I came in second place last season. Unfortunately, I did forget that Fusi was on the show because, well, I was too busy almost winning. Did you make any money? I'm not here for the money this season. I'm here to meet the women and have a good time. You heard it here first. Clearly, he's not here to win. I, on the other hand, am. The only reason I'm here is for the money. I want that 100K, but nobody's gonna know that. What's up, bitches? Go, I heard you been bitches. talking about me. Kill me now? <laughs> Why? Guys, oh, Tana! Did you guys hear me? Oh, Tana! Oh, Tana. What's up, bro? I'm Taylor. Nice to meet you. Nice What's to meet you. Up, here, yeah. nice. She grabs his bald head <laughs> like a basketball. Look at her claws on his head. <laughs> Cast loves each other way too much. Who can make everyone want to fight and die? Fousey Tube and Taylor. I'm sure things aren't going to go over as smoothly as they have been. You know things are bad when Tana actually starts to make sense. Like, quite literally, why is this man on this show? <laughs> I mean, I know why, but uh, he just seems to step too many lines, you know? I already know that Fousey left first, the first time he came, so I was like, okay, this guy- Yo, shout out Wraith. That's my girl Wraith right there. By Taylor, however, she's got some balls, so I'm already keeping her on my radar. I can't help- but to think to myself that this entire production seems like a high school film project, right? And then they actually invite a literal man-child who just blows up their entire spot and makes this entire show so uncomfortable. Like, it was cute, it was fun. Ha ha ha! Now it's creepy. Okay, alrighty guys. Um, This head-to-head -head and the very first head-to-head -head on Reality House Season 3 starts now. This head to head is called Deceiving Desserts. In front of you guys have an apron <laughs> and a Don't chef hat. Yourself. Things might get messy. Bitch, if you're trying to get me to eat something, tell me now, I'll go home. Tenna, right, I think man. I asked you that the first time we talked. You ever mess with an Arab? <laughs> I could treat you so much better than this dude next to you. This has to be a bit. <laughs> I find myself saying this has to be a bit way too often these days. The lines are so blurred between reality and satire. I can't tell if this is scripted. I can't because this is an absolute madman on this show right now. I don't know. <laughs> Can you guys please let me know if you think this is scripted or this is actually how Fousey Tube acts? All right, you guys ready to see 
what you need to eat tonight. Yes, yes. show okay. me, please. The anticipation is killing me. All right, let's bring out the dessert. Oh, wait, that looks good. I you know oh, that shit ain't good. Oh, I forgot about it. I can smell Louis. it too. You don't smell what I smell right now. It this is good. some horse hey, shut the oh, I swear to God, I it's some crocodile. Oh, Bro, it smells so bad. There ain't smell no it, dollar it. amount. It smells, it smells like, good. like dirty and a Costco fridge from 2017. <laughs> Yo, already. <laughs> okay, maybe he was a good addition to the show. Are you Let me okay? just take a bite and go back no, to my room. The challenge has not even started yet and Fusi has vomited twice. So this is not looking good for me. Maybe I have to watch season one and two. I understand the stuffed animal. I, I don't know. Now, you guys want to know the rules, right? It's Peter and Tana versus Fusi and Taylor, okay? You guys are competing as teams. What you have in front of you are two uh, what I think are apples, two what look like delicious cupcakes, and, delicious. And, and one delicious pie. The team that finishes the most at the end of five minutes is declared the winner of this challenge. Well, Fusi and Taylor, we started them off with $2,000 as they entered the house, okay? Now, the losing team, we're gonna 50% everything in their bank, and that 50% will go towards the winning team. Vital question, what are the ingredients of these things? In front of you, what look like two apples covered in peanuts are actually, they are onions covered in caramel and mashed up trail mix. That's what I'm saying, man. Absolute juveniles. Throw me in here. I would eat that onion like Shrek, okay? What are you doing in my swamp type shit? Peter, you're probably wondering what's in these delicious cupcakes. It's actually dog food. It's literally not even a problem. I would face those cupcakes like Scooby-Doo. ro raggy <laughs> I'm a dog anyway. I would throw those cupcakes back like nothing. It's really not that hard. When you're playing to win, you get it done. No excuses. You're probably wondering what's in the pie and you've probably already smelt it. What I'm about to tell you what it is, you probably won't even understand. It is called surstroming. I know what it is. It is fish that has been fermented for years in a can. And it is a delicacy in the Nordic country. I have not had the pleasure of smelling surstroming yet. Probably smells like ass. I don't know if I'd be able to eat that. Peter and Tana, are you guys ready? I've never been ready, Ben. Fusi and Taylor, are you ready? Yes. yes, sir. Okay, the eating will begin in three, two, one, go! We're about to see an unhealthy eating habit, which is why today's video is sponsored by Noom. Noom is a psychology-based curriculum that helps you break old habits and establish new positive ones. Noom gives you all the tools you need in order to succeed in all areas of your life, including things like diet, stress management, physical activity, and sleep. With Noom, you guys get assigned to a one-on-one -on -one coach along with a group chat that helps keep you accountable, acts as a support system, you guys can share advice and tips, as well as challenge each other to help create new habits or get rid of old ones. Shout out to Laura, my one-on-one -on -one coach. You guys know that I stay on my Sigma male grind set, and with Noom, they help me establish a daily or morning routine that is easy to stick with without interfering with other areas of my life. They have something for everyone. You guys can set calorie goals if you're trying to lose weight and establish a deficit. They make it super easy to log the food that you eat so that you have a detailed list of everything that you're consuming. And they also have lessons on things like food density and eating to feel full instead of just binge eating. I'll be using Noom over the next couple months to keep me accountable and help shed off a couple of those pounds from quarantine because let's be honest I'm trying to get on one of these reality shows and I need to be shredded I need an absolute six-pack glistening in the hot sun so click the link in the description box and take your free Noom evaluation. It's quick, easy, and they will set you up with your first custom plan. Thank you to Noom for sponsoring this video. Five minutes, y'all. No, you did it. If you're gonna throw up, please throw up in your vomit bowls. Fuck, why am I throwing up? It's okay, it's okay. Tana's throwing up, it's making me wanna throw up. Fusi's throwing up, it's making me wanna throw up. Now everyone behind me's throwing up. It's just simply disgusting. Yo, shout out Lava Girl. Throwing up when somebody else eats an onion. Hell yeah. Now that is content right there. Suddenly I am eating grandma from 1810 in a pie. That's disgusting. Tana, you gotta come back. Tana, where are you going? Tana, Tana, where are you going? You're the only one eating right now. Uh, I hate you, man. Oh my God, okay, Tana's throwing up. This is good, this this could be good for us. Hopefully, hopefully this is good. Let's go, Tana, let's go. Oh, Tana. Let's go, Taylor, Taylor's going crazy. Lucy's being a 
You can't eat it. Watch this. Oh God, Rice. Bite it. Ball. Eat it. Knocked out by Austin right. McBroom. Didn't get knocked out. <laughs> Yo, Fuzzy's just in like this drunken stupor saying absolute nonsense. <laughs> He's not wrong though. Bryce Hall knocked out by Austin McBroom. This man hasn't even touched the onion yet. That has to be the easiest one. Knocked out, but you got fed by Slim. Oh. Eat it. I ain't getting knocked out. I know, neither did I. I'll fight you too, bro. I told you yeah, that. Right? <laughs> He's eating that like an apple. <laughs> Why do I feel like he's done this before? <laughs> Now I would wax you. Ooh. Right now? Yeah. yeah. Give me three months, I'll f <laughs> you up. Dude, and then you give me three months and I'll wax you. Dude, I saw the way you box, I'd put you on your sh That's, that's <laughs> great. All right, two that? minutes left. <laughs> Listen. Do or die. If I was sober, I would destroy you, dude. I'm convinced Bryce Hall can't beat up anyone. I mean, if Fousey Tube doesn't show up blackout drunk, absolutely infuriating everyone in the room, is it even Fousey Tube? Can you try to eat something, please? Like, eat the film mix off of it. Yeah, Let's eat the like film mix off of it. It'll make it lighter. Oh, 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 oh. What was that, Fousey? This man just yeeted the trail mix behind him. <laughs> He's got like four cameras rolling on him. You think they're just not going to see that? We have one minute left. Stuff as much as you can in your mouth now. Dude, she is going ham. Ten, nine, Keep eating, eight, 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 seven, six, five, four, three, two. One, put everything down, put everything down. Put everything down, put everything down, put everything down. Yo, again. No cheating. No cheating, bro. You threw your food out of your mouth every five seconds. We just finished and my back is aching from carrying the weight of my entire team for this challenge. What's going on here? All righty, y'all. That was a good try from some of you, from the others, not so much. We reviewed some footage and we did not have to weigh anything because there was an instant disqualification uh, from Fusi's team. That's bullshit. Fousey That's bullshit. team is instantly That's disqualified. Bullshit. There's an instant disqualification from you. You oh, f***ed it up for the team. Unfortunately, it was a team effort. What uh, happened Fousey, in the footage? Fousey, what happened? Tell Fousey. me. Multiple, there's multiple times where you Let's threw go. it. You bumped in the into grass. What? You I threw what? Food, you bumped Whatever into your you own your teammate. Mouth. You almost set the house on fire. You threw sh over there behind your apron, bro. There's can, there's 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 can we just specify on camera that I had nothing to do with any of that? Because yeah, I'm sorry to Taylor. <laughs> Dude, his face of desperation. Fusi got you guys disqualified. It does not mean you guys are going home. It just means that we're broke. You guys only have a thousand dollars in your bank account, Great. and the other thousand goes to Peter Great. Montana. This right here leads me to believe that Tube's entire personality on this show is scripted. Oh man, we're broke. It's just like way too on the nose. Maybe he actually acts like that. I don't know. So I ate all that <laughs> for no f***ing reason. We Thanks, Fousey. But congratulations to Tana yeah, and Peter, everybody. Good job, guys. Good job. Tana, good job. You deserve the win. Don't listen to their cheating. They lied. I mean, honestly, I'm a little pissed. Like, Fousey was all in my ear on the way in there. We have to win this. We have to come in. We have to come in strong. We have to win. And, like, I did come in strong. And I could have won, but he had to cheat. So, yeah, I'm annoyed. Quite frankly, I don't know where this friendship is going. So, good luck to you. Imagine being friends with Fousey Tube. That's your first problem. While the new contestants make their way inside, Tana decides that she's leaving again. As much as we talked about Tana's ridiculous antics on this show, I feel like she was a valuable character on this crew. It was a fun time. I enjoyed it. I don't know why she's just dropping out. Maybe she doesn't need the 100K. She's like, dude, I could just make that in two nights on OnlyFans. I think if you want me to win, you're delusional. There are so many people here who deserve $100,000 far more than me. Camilla is a mother of two children at 26 years old, a single mom. They all want to win, and I think that if I took it, that would just be absolutely wrong. I'm not going to lie. That's kind of respectable. All right. Before she leaves, Tana has a special parting gift for her favorite contestant. Bryce, you disgusting animal. Kane pretending to take a shot. What? Pretending to take a shot. If you know anyone who spends money in the dumbest way, it's Tana Mojo. Good night, Bryce. Enjoy your cot. I don't know about you guys, but I could fall asleep on anything literally anywhere. Hating high school did that to me. <laughs> we have to announce something. No. Someone bought someone a sabotage. No way. Sabotage. <laughs> Fousey and Taylor, you may not know much about this, but yeah. Keen and I have a menu in which you can buy sabotages for the night. If you did this, Tana, to me, Tana. <laughs> <laughs> There's 
Did you do that? <laughs> okay, now listen up. Someone bought someone a cot for the oh, night. That's sleep on. That person is Bryce. Bryce, Bryce is sleeping oh, wow. on a cot tonight. Wow. So Bryce. as of right now, we want you guys to go see your beds and we want you to see your cot. So we're going to get you guys to go to your apartment. I don't feel bad. That's still a sleeping arrangement that I'd be comfortable sleeping on. It's a cot. Alrighty, guys, uh, get ready for bed, shower, whatever you need to do. But you guys are staying in here for the rest of the night. All right. Thank you guys for today. Love you guys. I think you're like trippy or something. Wow. No, wait. I know you live. There's no way. You're joking. Feel that. Feel that. Bed. I'm so freaking pissed. I gotta sleep on a pseudo bed. Right here, let me get in it with you. No, f you. Let's cut it off. Get away from me. Let's cut it off. This is a genuine real question. Do I actually have to sleep on that f***ing rock of a bed no. after getting drunk out of my dick, waking up to JC slapping pants together? Let's go. Day two. Let's go. I'm gonna. I'm gonna be the worst. Person no, tomorrow, hey. to sleep on that. This kid's talking like he's in the Marines. <laughs> You're on an influencer dating show with the chance of winning 100K, and the worst thing that happened to you so far is that you got a bed. It's just a cot. Hey, hey Bryce. Hey, hey, Bryce. I'm down to box you. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, if we get gloves, I'll like, box you right now. No, 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 no. Not right now. Even if they do an event <laughs> in here and they say box, I'll say no. I'm not stupid. I'm mature. <laughs> he's not stupid. He's mature. You heard it here first, folks. <laughs> so I know if I train, I got you. Do you think you could beat me? Yeah. Give me three to six months, I got you. What type of flex is that? This kid is four foot 10, 22 years old. You should, as a 31 year old man, be able to take him in the boxing ring. Bryce and Fuzi are going at it, talking about fighting each other or something. I mean- Wraith, Wraith, you gotta take that chain off, man. What are you doing? What are you doing? What is your end game? Why are you wearing Bryce Hall's chain? I know that thing has whack stats too. That PAU amulet has like negative five strength and it has an on use to be cringe. I think this may be a plot for Bryce to try and win my heart, but you know, I don't know. I think it would be pretty fun to see them go at it for sure. How old is this girl, man? <laughs> I can't tell. Let's find out. Embado, Embado. Jesus Christ. <laughs> This girl is either 19 or 81, and she just siphons the blood of OnlyFans models to keep her youth. <sighs> Give me three to six months, I got you. Dude, I mean this in the most respectful way, but I would put you on the canvas. I love that. I heard that to Austin, who you said you were gonna yeah, be no, the daddy Austin of. Austin trained for a year and a half. I trained for three months. Okay. I love you guys. Oh, babes. Thank you for the experience. You weren't that. I'll see you one tomorrow. day. I'll see you soon. Purposely. I'm gonna miss you so much. Peace out, Tan. I'm gonna miss you so much. I like to think she was there for a total of like 24 hours and they filmed these episodes just back to back. Eh, this is not for me. Peace out. Oh my God, I'm gonna miss you so much, Tana. Thank you for having me, Reality House season three. Third time's the charm. The contestants were amazing. I don't deserve this money and I have to get to New York. So thank you for having me. Kill it, Hey, New York. I didn't tell you guys, Tana came to hang out. <laughs> Just shooting the shit, influencer things, you know what I mean? No, you probably don't. What would a conversation between me and Tana go like? <laughs> Good luck to you, my psychopath. Hi, Tana. Hey, if I win, can I take you to like a nice He's whispering some crazy shit. No. <laughs> How about just no? <laughs> Ew. Hey, baby. Hey, if I want, can I take you to like a nice ass dinner? You get Sharpie on my hairline. <laughs> you know it's really bad when Tana gets uncomfortable on what FoosyTube is saying. Bruh, Fousey is on a whole nother level. Let me tell you, he is just talking shit nonstop. Oh God, Fousey's here. What do you want to say? We're not talking about you yet. <laughs> Yo. It looks like he's wearing a helmet. <laughs> Like one of those Game of Thrones Walder Frey hats, those old pilot hats. <laughs> Your breath still smells like f tuna. I bet it does. And it does. I bet so it does. It really does. I'd put you on the canvas. Would you? Yes. Oh my God, yes. that turns me on. Okay. <laughs> I only watch porn two times a week. I don't know what that means. I've never been through clout or fame. I would stick your head back like this and make you take every inch of my d 
like inch for what inch. What the f is going on? Do you guys want to form an alliance? Come again? What did he just say? Okay. Yeah, that's enough internet today. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. How so? Meaning, we'll make it so us four get to the... Something? The something. He already, like, wants to, like, form and deceive against, like, other people. And I'm just, like, not about it right now. I'm chilling, vibing with the energy in the house. And with him coming here, it definitely has escalated to a whole new level. Facts. I'm vibing with the energy of the house, too. No, I totally feel you on that one. For sure. Hey, you want to go ponder some orbs? I'm asking you to trust me, and I'm going to pay you the money that if you don't win, you'll still win by that winner. So you're still winning. Dude, I, I can't, I can't believe he thinks this was a good move. Those are thousands upon thousands of tattooed dots on his forehead, making it seem as if that's his hairline, but it's not. <laughs> My guy pulled up looking like Mega Man, dude. He's wearing a helmet. Well, we'll have to talk about this. I'll think about it. Hey, if it makes sense, it makes listen, sense. Listen, listen, listen. You pretty haired Leonardo DiCaprio looking. I love it. If you like Kane, you know. Oh, this face? How, why, do you see it? Do you see it? I'm going to shower. I'm beating Kane tonight. I'm going to make sure. I'm going to make sure. You're going to shower naked? Substitute. Well, that's how you do it. You want me to watch you? No. <laughs> you want me to watch you? <laughs> Whatever you need. Dude, watching FoosyTube makes me feel dirty. Like I have original sin and I need to go confess to a priest and take a shower. These are not even jokes. They're just creepy, weird remarks. I guess anything for the views, am I right? In the context of FoosyTube as a whole creator, it's just a sad way to go out. Like this is the content that you stoop down to. This is your idea of humor. Anyways, FoosyTube <laughs> is definitely no, entertaining like as <laughs> He is definitely a good person to have on the show. <laughs> he knows how to make shit happen, but he's definitely intruding on our personal space, and so he is not. <laughs> Here's Fousey. Here's Johnny. This has to be scripted. Please tell me if it's scripted. I need to know. A welcomed person here, right? Yeah. This is our territory. We've been here for how many days? Feels like two weeks, but it's probably been it's like, what? Been like two days. Days. It's not even. Not but you know what? <laughs> he does not have territory the way that we do. So we're gonna show him what's up. No, uh, no, right? I didn't no mean all wrong, that, but basically no. we're gonna transition to another. <laughs> He's right fucking behind you. Fousey's right there. Shh, 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 shut the fuck up. <laughs> Look. Fousey definitely has good intentions. I can tell that he wants to be known in the influencer world. Um, it's the Fousey himself. Turn no, it isn't. Yes, it is. <laughs> if I don't look, it's not there. No, he's like 100% there. <laughs> 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 Yo! No! <laughs> That scared me. She turned around. This man just posted up. What'd you fucking say about me? <laughs> I, I see where the f we stand at. This blue and white boy in this jersey is going to protect you from what happens to you in this house. Nah, 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 nah. They're laughing. This is a bit. This is not real. Fusi is the villain of this show. It's all drama. Has to be. What do you mean? Are you good? That's the protection you chose. Are no, you good? I'm protecting myself. She doesn't need protection. I'm protecting myself. She's a strong, she's a strong okay. woman. We'll I'm protecting watch it. myself. She's a strong about? woman. We'll watch it. When I take your money, we'll watch it. Oh, we're talking about money. Okay, we're talking about money. What so, else am I talking about? What the f I care right. about? Money. Yeah. You want to talk about money? Yeah. Like even her shirt says money talks. Enough film classes told me that this is fake. So you're trying to save each other. No, f you. You, all no. your money's gone. Oh, no. Why are you touching the girl, bro? That money Why are Listen, you right here? Lucy, you don't can't, you can't, you can't Why put your hands. You? Don't do that. Right. Don't do that. With all, with all, all right. Real, 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 real I got it. No, real I I sincerely apologize for even coming close to your face. Oh. I thought you we didn't were just right. come close. You like face popped her. Like yeah. don't. Oh thanks, Rice. I mean you did it. Please just go. Okay. Okay. Yo, they're putting him to bed like a senile grandpa having Vietnam flashbacks at Thanksgiving. Yeah, just go to bed. No, it's okay. 
No, just get out of here. Just fall asleep. It's okay. We'll try again never. Like, if that's not scripted, Lava Girl's what? 20? Fussy Tube's 31? Just like snuffed her on the forehead? It's not, it's not the best look, you know? You said your apology. Do not touch her. Do not say anything. Just go, please. Thank you. I'm very sorry. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. Kind of awkward because we all came in here um, to like talk about the night and Fuzzy just barged in and surprised us. Got into it a little bit with Lava and uh, laid hands on her face. And dude, that is literally the number one rule. Don't ever f lay a finger on a girl, man. And um, you're a piece of for that. Facts, Kane. Yeah, for sure. No, I mean, like, he's right, but, like, <laughs> I just can't take anything this kid takes seriously because he's Kane. He definitely took it too far, and at the end of the day, uh, there's no reason to touch somebody, man or female. What do I do? <laughs> well, what do you mean? What do you do? We have some hidden camera CCTV footage. Bryce Hall walks in on Fousey chilling in the dorms. And he's like, dude, you're crazy. Why would you do that? What was going through your head? Maybe this was a genuine reaction. Drama on reality house. 31-year-old man-child, bushwax, 20-year-old Twitch streamer. I don't know. Also, like, what type of bit is touching a girl? Like... It's a weird bit. Uh, I don't think it's a bit. I don't think it's a bit. I think Fousey's just that weird and creepy. I wouldn't touch a woman the way you touch a woman. Touch. On the head? That was on the face, dude. On the head with the puff on the forehead. On the face. Show me the real butt. You'll see it when it's in the show. <laughs> As if the forehead is like a Goldilocks zone. Yeah, anywhere else, you know, I can understand being mad at me, but I touched her forehead. Her forehead. Come on, everybody knows the forehead is fair game. If it was anywhere in the face other than the forehead, don't give me that one. Dude, that was probably the stupidest thing I think I've ever seen you Fusi is so lucky Wraith didn't just open up a portal and toss him through it. And then Maria comes in, starts clapping at him. He's in her bed. This is just a yikes all around, across the board. Yikes! Oh, I touched your forehead. Oh, my forehead. I genuinely apologize. I don't know. Oh, you got my whole... Dude, does he put sex wax on his forehead like a surfboard? Maybe a little car buff? I mean, that thing is blinding. I can't see straight, dude. I'm muzzled your whole That's a way different story. No, you didn't. It was a figment of your imagination. You didn't do any of that. You're you're cool. You're fine, dude. <laughs> you're chilling. Yeah, very out of pocket. I was just explaining. I was not coming at you. I did that. Okay. I did that. You did do that. So when you did do that, and I go on. Then I apologize. Please do more. And I I respect the wrong and deserve every rude professional I come to. The apology. The apology. I don't know if you're going to respect the apology. is something you can stop taking the morning. No, I don't get that. You can't apologize and then say I didn't lay hands on a woman. No, I'm saying it's different. Lay hands on a woman versus what you're telling me even I did that now is a difference. Bryce, don't try to play that right now. I know so much that I'm protecting you about. What? So much Oh, <laughs> this is getting good. <laughs> go Fousey, go Fousey. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All this I love you so much as a creator. I don't do that. I don't do that. 
I am fully torqued right now for the next episode. God! Listen, there's a line, right? And cringy on one side, predatory on the other. Most people stay on the cringy side. Fousey just, you know, you know, he goes right there. One of the top comments on this video with 19,000 upvotes, Fousey isn't just cringy, he gives off real predatory energy. Imagine this is the downfall of Fousey. He just gets dragged out by an actual SWAT team for being a predator. Guess we gotta tune in next week. <laughs>